Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, FAA certifies synthetic vision for Avidyne FMS. GoGo Business Aviation receives STC for 4G connectivity. Technam delivers the 200th P2006 T Twin. I'm Brie Cross. It's March 16th, 2017, and this is Airborne Limited. There were big smiles over at the AEA 2017 Avidyne booth as they earned FAA TSO approval for their new IFD 550 FMS GPS Navcom with Attitude Reference System. This also includes FAA approval of the release 10.2 software that includes synthetic vision and two-way wireless connectivity with Avidyne's new IFD 100 iPad app. Avidyne has also received approval for their new IFD 545, IFD 510, and IFD 410. Quote, Release 10.2 was a significant undertaking that adds synthetic vision and expands our line of IFD series of FMS GPS products, bringing them to a whole new level of capability and setting them far apart from anything else available on the market, said Avidyne President Dan Schwen. Quote, with integrated synthetic vision and built-in wireless connectivity capabilities, no other navigators offer so much functionality, situational awareness, and ease of use, said Mitch Biggs, Avidyne's VP of Sales and Marketing. Avidyne's new IFD 550 is a full-featured FMS GPS Navcom with all the same functionality of their IFD 540, but with the addition of an integrated attitude reference sensor, which detects pitch and roll motion, and enables a display of dynamic synthetic vision with full motion 3D out of window views, as well as exocentric in trail views of the aircraft and nearby terrain obstacles, traffic, and terrain. The FAA has granted an STC to GoGo Business Aviation for its GoGo Biz 4G system. GoGo's Bombardier Challenger aircraft was utilized for certification testing. For those interested in adding GoGo Biz 4G, upgrade programs are available for new and existing ATG customers. GoGo already has received several dealers committed to securing STCs on a variety of aircraft. GoGo's 4G system utilizes their ground network of more than 250 towers and fiber backhaul. The new service will also offer GoGo Vision, which provides the latest movies and television shows via the GoGo Vision product, flight tracker, real-time weather reports, GoGo Text and Talk, which allows passengers to call and text with their personal smartphones, streaming video and audio, live face-to-face -face conversations through a user's favorite application, email with attachments, and web browsing. Additionally, GoGo Biz 4G provides an upgrade path to GoGo's next-gen network that is expected to produce speeds up to 100 megabytes per second. The next-gen network, scheduled to launch in 2018, will use a proprietary modem, a new beam-forming antenna, and unlicensed spectrum to produce that level of performance. After the break, Technam delivers the 200th P2006T. Explore No Limits Flying in the FAA Certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best-selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus Engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Limited, Aero TV, the new AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just send an email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Bartolini Air, a leading Polish flight training organization, has taken delivery of the 200th Technam P-2006 T-Twin. With 200 P-2006Ts now in service worldwide, Technam has partnered with NASA, a number of air forces, and other niche operators who now fly specialist versions of the twin, such as the P-2006T SMP version 2. 
Quote, for the many prospective commercial aircraft pilots we are training, our clients and customers, Bartolini Air is where the story begins for them, said Barlamij Wallace, Managing Director of Bartolini Air. Bartolini Air operates an all-Technam training fleet of 11 aircraft, 9 singles and 3 twins. They conduct over 12,000 flight training hours a year and qualify more than 200 students who go on to fly for many of the world's major airlines. Quote, the key to the success of our P-2006T twin has been our commitment to offer our customers unbeatable value, coupled with low operating and ownership costs, innovative design and Italian styling, says Paolo Pascale, CEO of Technam. The Rotax 912S3 engine in particular enables the Technam P-2006T to lead with respect to the environment too. After these messages, AEA names 2017 award winners. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Two major awards were presented during the opening session of the 60th annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show. Greg Vale, a flight star of Savoy, Illinois, was named the 2017 AEA Member of the Year, while Apera was honored as the AEA Associate Member of the Year. At Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson in Alaska, a small crowd of onlookers and well-wishers recently listened to the sound of the Alaska Air National Guard's C-130H Hercules turboprops for the last time. The 176 wings divestor of the last of the 144th Airlift Squadron C-130s marks a major change for the busy organization. A former high school teacher in Durango, Colorado, who is now a member of the state legislature, has introduced a bill to rename Colorado Highway 3 the Captain Jeff Coos Memorial Highway. Barbara McLaughlin, who is serving her first term in the state legislature, introduced the bill in the House Transportation and Energy Committee, where it passed unanimously. A bill making its way through the Montana Senate would make it illegal for a drone to fly at an altitude of under 500 feet over most private property without the explicit permission of the landowner. Media reports indicate that the bill would make drone delivery services illegal in the state. United Airline employees, union representatives, and members of Congress rallied at Newark Liberty International Airport recently to protest Emirate Airlines' new daily service between Newark and Athens, Greece, the latest example of massive Gulf subsidies undermining the domestic airline industry. Subsidy-enabled flights reportedly supported by the governments of the UAE and Qatar allegedly violate international aviation agreements. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now back to the rest of the news. The Sikorsky CH-53K King Stallion Heavy Lift Helicopter appears to be on the way to becoming the world's most expensive helicopter, coming in at as much as $122 million per aircraft, according to one member of Congress. Representative Nikki Tongas came up with that estimate using a 2016 Selected Acquisition Report from the GAO. She said that the Marine Corps provided the information directly to House lawmakers this year that indicates that the helicopters are now expected to bust their baseline estimates by some 22 percent. During a March 10th hearing of a House Armed Services subcommittee, Tongas said that with the Marine Corps planning to buy 200 of the aircraft, and that, quote, $122 million per aircraft in 2006 dollars exceeds the current cost of an F-A-35A aircraft for the Air Force by a significant margin. At that same hearing, Lieutenant General Gary Thomas said that when the King Stallion enters full rate production, 
that per unit cost would drop below $89 million per helicopter. Quote, that's still very expensive. We're working very hard with the program office and the vendor to keep the cost down and to drive value for the taxpayer, Thomas said. The CH-53K King Stallion is expected to achieve initial operational capability in 2019. Nine years ago, the goal was to take a photo of what would be the world's largest gathering of female pilots, and on August 1, 2008, approximately 800 women gathered in pink t-shirts during AirVenture. The celebration of women in aviation at Oshkosh has steadily grown in the years since, and in 2017, women will gather for the 10th annual photo. Wednesday's events kick off with the WAI Connect Breakfast, followed by the annual photo on Boeing Plaza and Women Venture Power Lunch, featuring change leadership speaker Dr. Janet Lapp. A pilot and flight instructor, Lapp has flown her airplane throughout South America and Africa on medical and rescue missions and is a longtime member of the Flying Doctors of Mercy. New this year is the first Women Venture Social on Monday, July 24th, where attendees can start the week by meeting and networking. On Tuesday, July 25th, the 99s will host a dinner event on the grounds. EAA has also announced the Women Venture Sport Pilot Academy Scholarship to be awarded during Wednesday's Power Lunch. The scholarship is open to women who are former Young Eagles participants and will cover tuition and on-site costs to attend the August 2017 EAA Sport Pilot Academy in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Limited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.